Hello everyone, this is Bala. Today we are going to see how to create users on OpenShift 4 platform by using HT password as identity provider. Okay, I believe most of them will see in this error you are logged as temporary administrative user, update the cluster or configuration to allow others to log in when you log in as a cube admin as the first time. So, this is means this cube admin users has logged in as a temporary user. So, we might need to create an administrative user and as well as other users in the OpenShift once we log in by using cube admin. Okay, so let me create the users by using HT password as identity provider today. Okay. So I'm going to say I'm going to link the document. Probably it could be a medium blog document or GitHub document in while uploading this video on YouTube. Okay, so let me start how to create user and how to configure a HG password identity provider in OpenShift cluster 4. So for that, first we have to install httpd iPhone tools on your Linux box. So I have already installed. I'm just ensuring. So the RPM has already installed on my machine. So I am moving to step 2, create user name and, and hash to password. So I am going to create a two user, OC admin is one of the user and a dev user. So OC admin I am going to make it as cluster admin and dev user I am going to make it as developer. He is going to access only the specific project. Okay, let me start create. So it has created a users.ht password file with the users information. Okay. Let me add OC admin user okay, because it's overrated. So C for creating a new file. So I have used C in both places. So I am removing one place. Okay. Now the dev user and OC admin user with the hashed password has created with this file name users.hd password. Now create a hasty password secret. So this secret is going to be updated on OpenShift config namespace. So I am going to create a secret as a HT pass iPhone secret name from the file the file which we are use created the users.hasty password on namespace openshift config. Okay, the secret which already exists, so I am deleting the secret first. Okay, now let me create. 
since I tested earlier, so the path secret was existed, so I'm deleted now. Okay, now it got created. Next, we have to create a custom resource for Husty password identity provider. So we have to create a file with any name. Just I'm using here Husty password.cr. So I'm just a copying, copy paste these contacts, nothing but. So this content nothing but it's going to create your auth with the name the cluster and the identity provider my name is my hasty password provider and the method it's a client method and the type is hasty password. So that we create it by using OC apply. So that is configured. Now we have configured our identity provider and as well as the users and password, hash to password. To check that we can use the method OC get user. Okay, I'm ensuring I'm in cube admin user. So for that, we'll see. Okay, I'm currently as a cube admin user. So let me try to log in as a OC admin user. So by using this command and the password, the password which we used. Okay, and pass the password. So the OC admin password is the password we have created. Okay, so it's showing the login as successful. So we are able to log in on that by using the OC admin user. So we have successfully logged in as a OC admin user. So I'm just checking the username. Okay, I have logged in as a OC admin user. The same way, let me test for the dev users also. So dev user, the another user which we created, and the password is. So, I have logged in as a dev user successfully. Okay. So, if you notice both the user, you don't have any projects. You can try to create new project by running OC project. And suppose if you try to create, I'll try to get nodes or any kind of resources, you will get forbidden error because you don't have any role assigned to the specific users okay now it's a time for authorization so let me assign a role to this user that is we're going to assign cluster role for this user so as per the document i have created i'm going to make oc admin as a cluster admin and dev user as a development user only he dev user going to be access only the specific project dev iphone project one okay let me start provide the authorization for this user so again i am going to log in as here cube and me
So I'm just getting the password of my group admin. Okay, let me assign a role. So, for that, we're going to use OC ADM policy command. Let me clear the screen. So, OC ADM policy add cluster role cluster admin role to the OC admin user, the role bindings, it could be cluster admin. So it got updated the RBAC authorization successfully and as well as I am going to create, I am going to configure a dev user also. He, but the dev user is going to have only specific access to his project dev iPhone project 1. He is not going to be a cluster admin. Okay, okay, that also updated. Let me test the both users. First, let me test the OC admin access. So, I can log in as the OC admin. Now, you can see you have access to 53 projects, and as well as let me test few comments get notes. Yes, he can be able to get the resources and get projects. He can be able to access all the projects, list of all the projects. Great. Let me test the dev user. Was he at me? Log in as a dev user. So let me log in as a dev user and ensure it should have access to the specific project. Okay, so we are able to log in successfully and if you see get project or see get project, he have access to specific only dev iPhone project 1. This project dev iPhone project 1 I have created by using cube, cube admin. I missed the step so I have updated my document here as cube admin create new project okay so now we have provided authorization for both user let me just to ensure the all the users what is the access of the user by using oc get users okay so again we have to log in as here either oc admin or cube admin because oc admin currently have Cluster admin access. Okay, let me log in as here. OC admin. Now run the command OC get user. So we have two users one is a dev user and one is another one is a OC admin user. And with the identities, my HD password provider. And also you can check the identity. So we have two identities. One is as the dev user and OC admin and the username and password is updated here. Okay. So that's it. Let me delete this user. So let me, de let me delete only dev user. We don't want to delete OC admin because it's going to act as an admin user for our Kubernetes cluster. Sorry, OpenShift cluster. Okay, so let me delete the dev user. To delete the dev user, we have to follow these steps to delete user. Run the command OC delete user dev user. Okay, the user got deleted. 
and once the user is deleted you have to delete the identity also because if you see if you give users there was dev user got deleted but if you see identity still the dev user identity is existing so we have to delete the identity also so delete the identity by running this command so was it delete identity deleted let me clear the screen and ensure it the users clean up properly done or not so was it get users great dev user got properly deleted and let me check the identity also okay so the users got deleted the user dev user got deleted properly okay that's it guys i believe this video will be helpful for open shift users who like to create use additional users on the open shift container platform okay thank you guys